Hi guys, my name is Ashley and I'm a mom of two little girls. I have a two and a half year old toddler named Kylie and I also have a seven month old baby named Mia. With the holidays just around the corner, I know that a lot of you parents out there are already thinking about potential gifts for the holidays for your little ones. And I know that if you're a new Montessori parent, you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed as to kind of where to start when it comes to purchasing gifts for a child who is growing up in a Montessori environment. The number one guideline that any parent can use is to avoid anything flashy, battery operated that does the entertaining for your child. You want something that kind of doesn't really do anything by itself. Your child has to use it as a tool and be creative with it in order to make it do something. So if you keep that in the back of your mind, I think that you'll find choosing gifts for your child becomes just a little bit easier. But sometimes even knowing that it can still be a little bit difficult because you might not be sure if a certain material or activity is developmentally appropriate for your child's age. So from one busy parent to another, today I'd like to share with you the gift guide that I have put together for you that is categorized not only by the types of toys and activities, but also by age to make things super easy for you when it comes to selecting gifts for your child this holiday season. Okay, so I am sitting slightly off to the side of the camera frame today because I am planning to pop up some pictures here of some of the items and activities that I'm going to share with you. So I wanted to leave enough space for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into the list now and we are going to start with gifts that would be appropriate for babies between the ages of zero and six months. Now at this age, they're not really doing a whole lot and for the most part, they are not very mobile. So choosing gifts for them tends to be a little bit easier because you're just focusing on their development of all of their senses. For the newborn stage between zero and three months, you want to consider things like mobiles. And there are a series of Montessori mobiles if you were not aware. You can make them yourself, and I have a couple of DIY videos on how to do that. But you can also purchase them if you are not a DIY type person. Another great option for babies when you're focusing on their eyesight is to provide a mirror or high contrast black and white images to look at. There are also a variety of types of rattles that are perfect for babies of this age that generally are made of wood and some of them make noise from little wooden discs that shake back and forth, while others have bells inside of them. And aside from the appeal of the sound, babies just like to put things in their mouth, so rattles are always a great way to go. Once a baby has mastered the ability to bring an object to their mouth, you can start providing them also with things like wooden teethers and sensory balls. There are even single sensory balls that have a variety of different textures just on the one ball itself. Rainbow ribbon teethers are another great item for babies to chew on, obviously, with supervised use. And in Montessori environments, you'll also find something called a kicking ball, which a baby can use in their hands, but they can also kick it with their feet. And for babies who are working on their grasping skills and hand-to-hand -hand transfer, you might consider something like a grasping ring hung from an elastic string, or even a set of interlocking discs. As far as gifts for babies between the ages of six and 12 months, obviously this is kind of a much more mobile stage in their life. They're learning to sit up, they're starting to scoot around on the floor, eventually they start crawling and for some babies they even start walking by 12 months. So while they can still make use of all of the toys that they were using between zero and six months, it's much more appropriate to begin providing them with things that are going to challenge them a little bit more and help them develop more of those gross motor skills. And to a smaller extent, they are also beginning to work on refining their fine motor skills as well. So in no particular order, toys and activities that you might want to offer to a child of this age might include things like a ball tracker, where they can actually put balls inside and watch them go down the track one at a time. A classic Montessori material called an object permanence box, which is basically where they just put the ball inside the hole, it disappears for a minute, and then it suddenly reappears as it rolls back out into the tray. And it teaches them the idea that things that they don't see aren't necessarily gone forever. A bell cylinder is really great for children who are learning how to crawl. As it rolls across the floor, it provides them a little bit of motivation to crawl after it. A pop-up toy, as simple as it is, provides a lot of surprise and delight for children of this age. For encouraging purpose full hand and wrist movement, you can provide your baby with a rolling drum, which usually just has a little marble on the inside and they just kind of do this motion repetitively. And many babies are completely fascinated by this because it's a really exciting 
teaching lesson for them in cause and effect. Closer to the 12 month mark, you can expect your baby to start beginning to master single shaped knobbed puzzles, as well as a wooden shape sorter, a simple stacking toy, and something called egg in cup, where they just basically learn to take the egg out and put it back on. Babies of this age are also fascinated with dropping things into holes, otherwise known as posting, and you can purchase something called an infant coin box, which is basically just like a little piggy bank, and they focus on learning how to get the little coins in the right position into the slot on the top. And then the box can be opened up, the coins can be retrieved, and they can repeat the activity. And because during this time, babies are learning to crawl and walk, it is always a great idea to provide them with a play tunnel that they can crawl through. Again, it's just more motivation as well as something called a walker wagon, which enables them to begin learning how to walk independently as they hold on to the handlebars. It does provide a little bit of resistance so that it doesn't get out in front of them and cause them to fall. And what's also great about a walker wagon is it appeals to a young toddler's desire to transport things around. So it gives them a place to put some of their toys or objects that they found from around the house and move them around. And of course, you can never go wrong with reading to your child. So purchase Purchasing books for your baby is always a great way to go. I actually have an entire video dedicated to my recommendations for children's books, but just to give you a few starter ideas, I personally am thinking about purchasing a few classics for my seven month old this Christmas season, including books like Hello Baby, 10 Little Fingers and 10 Little Toes, I See, Making Faces, and global babies. Okay, so now we're going to be moving into gifts that are appropriate for toddlers ages one and two. And I've sorted them into categories of items and toys just to make mental processing of kind of what you might want to purchase a little bit easier for you. So we're gonna start first with all of the toys and activities that would appeal to the development of their gross motor skills. We all know that one-year-olds love to climb. So if you can provide them with items that provide those opportunities for them, you are going to see them benefit from it. It. So something like an indoor slide that they can use whenever they want, regardless of whether or not you have time to go to a playground, or a pickler triangle, which is just a wooden climbing frame. And if they don't already have a play tunnel or a walker wagon, like I just mentioned, those are still very relevant items for a one-year-old. You can also introduce something called a balance bike, which is basically just a bike without pedals that teaches them how to balance themselves before they're expected to pedal themselves without falling over. So these are very popular beginning around age 18 months, but if you have a particularly active youngster, then you could try it a little bit earlier. Once they've mastered their sense of balance, then usually around like age two, two and a half, you can introduce a normal pedal tricycle. And finally, something called a balance board. It's just a curved piece of wood that enables them to do all kinds of things with it and really encourages their sense of balance. Next up are all the activities that appeal to the development of fine motor skills. The following items are all appropriate for children who are at least one year old, but most certainly can also be purchased for two year olds as well. For puzzles, you want to start out with large chunky knobbed puzzles. And then once they seem to be comfortable with that, you can move on to the smaller pegged puzzles. If your toddler has mastered the peg puzzles, you can then move on to jigsaw puzzles and you'll want to start really small with just two piece jigsaw puzzles. Young toddlers also love peg boards where they can actually stack them up and make little towers. Russian nesting dolls are a perennial favorite and a traditional Montessori material. Figurines and vehicles not only provide opportunities for language practice, but also a little bit of pretend play. Young toddlers are trying to figure out how the world works and they are absolutely fascinated by little latches. So a latch board is perfect for this because it provides a whole variety of different latches for them to work on. A wooden stacker toy is still relevant at one year old because not only have they mastered putting the rings onto the little pole in the middle, but now they're learning that they need to go in a certain particular size order. So Mia just woke up early from her nap and she may or may not be joining us for various sections of the rest of the video, so bear with us. But continuing on, another traditional Montessori material that's great for one-year-olds is something called discs on a horizontal dowel, which is kind of like the wooden stacker, but in a different direction. And also the next variation on that is discs on a serpentine dowel. Another great favorite for young toddlers is something called a threading block. And they make them in all different kinds of fruits and cheese and whatnot, but the one that I have is just a little block of cheese and my toddler loves that one. So that is the one I'm gonna recommend to you. You also cannot go wrong with a set of wood 
and magnets that come in a variety of different themes. So whatever your child is interested in, you're almost certain to find one that matches. A set of nesting and stacking boxes is also a really great activity for toddlers because they get to learn how to stack things up in proper size order or also nest them back together. And finally, a set of wooden blocks provides lots of opportunities for open-ended play. For older one-year-olds that are getting closer to the two-year mark, you can also offer a set of lacing beads as they can practice putting the little string through the holes on the beads. You just wanna make sure that they're a set of chunky beads, not really tiny ones because their fingers are not quite ready for the small ones yet. Now for two-year-olds, when it comes to fine motor practice, you're going to see them still interested in all of the things that we just talked about, but they are even further refining their abilities with their hands and their fingers. So you can start providing them with activities that are a little bit more complicated. At two, you can still use the lacing beads that we just mentioned, but you're going to notice that they become much more proficient at lacing the beads onto the string. And then you can also start working on things like pattern recognition or color recognition. A traditional Montessori activity called knobbed cylinders is a great activity for two-year-olds. The little knobs that come with the set are graded in different sizes. So they have to learn exactly which set the knobs go into for which block. And it's, it's definitely a little bit of a challenging activity for them. As far as jigsaw puzzles go, at two years old, you can begin offering them sets that have more than just two pieces. There are some that come in pretty large boards with very large pieces. And I think they start as small as 12 from what I've seen. Um, and as they get better at those, then you can start offering them the jigsaw puzzles that not only have more pieces, but they are also smaller pieces. The next variation on a wooden stacker at two is the counting and sorting stacker. At this point, they've mastered the actual stacking motion. So you can begin to encourage them to focus on other aspects of what it is that they're stacking, like counting the number of pieces or recognizing which colors go where. You can also try a bolt block that comes with a little wooden screwdriver to practice that purposeful wrist movement, as well as a geo board where they have to learn how to use the tips of their fingers to stretch elastic rubber bands over the little pegs. The geo board can also be used later as like a pre-geometry math activity for slightly older toddlers and preschoolers. Two-year-olds also find locks and keys incredibly fascinating and if you can provide them with an opportunity to practice getting a key into a lock hole and turning it especially if there is a reason to do so like with a coin box you can actually put something inside the box and that will encourage them to figure out how to open it and get the object out another traditional Montessori material for toddlers ages around two to maybe even three is something called a pink tower which is a lot like the nesting and stacking boxes that I mentioned earlier except these ones are made of solid wood Wood, and they are not meant for nesting. They are exclusively for stacking up in the correct order. And finally, two-year-olds have a budding sense of imagination and endless amounts of creativity. So providing them with open-ended toys like magnetiles will enable them to kind of explore that area of interest. So let's move on to practical life materials. And at one year old, that is the perfect time to begin introducing these types of things to your child. Some of the activities and toys do require that your child is able to walk. So if they're not walking just quite yet, that doesn't mean that they can't use it. You might just have to be a little bit more creative in helping find a way for them to be able to participate and use that material. So for practical life, starting at one year old, you can introduce something like a placemat for them to learn how to set the table. A set of real toddler sized cleaning tools can enable them to get involved in the daily task of cleaning the house, which is something that toddlers love to do because they see you doing it. You can also set up a window washing activity for them them by providing them with a small spray bottle and a squeegee as well as a washcloth. You can also teach them how to help you care for plants around the house if you get them a small child-sized watering can. Learning how to transfer dry and wet materials like beans or rice and then eventually water from one pitcher to another or from one pitcher to a small cup is a definite favorite of all toddlers. And if you have a toddler who loves to help you in the kitchen, you can even introduce them to helping you with cooking and baking by providing them with their own small size mixing bowls and mixing spoons and things like that. Now, practical life materials for two-year-olds is all of the same stuff as we just mentioned, but you can start to introduce things that, again, are a little bit more complicated. So for example, whereas a one-year-old might have been using a crinkle cutter to help you cut things or to learn how to cut some of their snacks, you can actually introduce a small nylon knife with your supervision, of course, and 
teach them how to actually use a proper knife. At two, they are also ready to learn how to pour their own drinks. So you can actually get them a small size pitcher and fill it with milk or with water or juice, and they can learn how to pour from the pitcher to the glass and stop when the liquid reaches the appropriate level before it overflows. And finally, we all know that toddlers love learning how to dress themselves. So if you can provide them with dressing frames or a toddler busy board, they can actually isolate each of those different skills like zippers and snaps and buckles and tying laces as they get older and older and they can learn how to master those skills one at a time. The next category is arts and crafts supplies. So starting at one year old, you can certainly offer very simple materials like chunky crayons or chunky wooden pencils, stamps, stickers, water wow books, which is basically just like painting with water. For one year olds who are capable of standing completely unassisted and kind of focusing on any task for a small length of time, you can possibly even introduce an easel for them to do their art projects at. And as your toddler inches closer to that two year old mark, you can really start to comfortably experiment with different sensory mediums because at this point they're not really putting everything in their mouths, usually for most children. Uh, so you can experiment with things like Play-Doh or modeling clay. Kinetic sand is a really big favorite. Also water beads. If your child was really into the water wild books, you might consider investing in something called a Buddha board, which is basically the same thing, except it's just a blank slate as opposed to something that they're filling in that's kind of pre-invented for them. Two-year-olds are also ready to begin practicing cutting with scissors. So you can provide them with preschool scissors to make that spring action open and close a little bit easier for them in the beginning until they master it. And finally, something called a Spirograph Junior. Now I remember this toy from when I was a kid and they make a junior sized version of it that is more appropriate for toddlers and preschoolers. And this is something that once they get the hang of it, they will certainly have a blast with. And finally, I have this category of kind of like miscellaneous toys and activities because I didn't feel like they fit into any of the other categories that I just mentioned. And it's a pretty short list. So the first one is just a set of musical instruments. And these would obviously be appropriate for as early as a one-year-old or even a baby, as long as they can hold something in their hand and shake it, it can make sounds. So depending on how difficult the instrument is to use would kind of depend on what age you would want to offer it. But having a set of really nice wooden instruments is always a great way to go. The the other items on this list are more appropriate for ages two and up, in my opinion. Um, the first one is something called a My Spy Birdhouse. So if you have a toddler who's very interested in birds and nests and kind of that whole process, this is a really great gift to give them because they can see it up close for themselves. Along the same idea would be a butterfly kit and maybe a book to go along with it to help teach your child about metamorphosis in a way that's hands-on that they can see for themselves. And if you do have a particularly adventurous toddler who likes being outdoors, you might consider getting them a set of binoculars that is specifically for their age that will withstand a little bit more of that rough and tumble play. And finally, older toddlers kind of going into the preschool age, they are ready for their first board games. And two of our favorites in this house are Sneaky Snacky Squirrel and Snug as a Bug in a Rug. You also might consider adding a few classic children's books to your little one's collection for the holidays, things like blueberries for Sal, Make Way for Ducklings, Snowy Day, Rosie's Hat, Madeline, and Harry McClary, just to name a few. And if you're looking for more recommendations, again, I think I already mentioned this, but I have an entire video dedicated to that that I will link up here for you guys to check out, and hopefully you'll get some good ideas. And finally, if you've been waiting until the holidays to make a much larger purchase, perhaps a larger piece of furniture for your Montessori home, then I just wanted to make you aware of a really great opportunity that I have for you guys. As you may have already seen in some of my previous videos, we are huge fans of Sprout Montessori furniture around here, and they make absolutely beautiful pieces that are eco-friendly, non-toxic, made right here in the USA. So if you're looking to purchase a kitchen helper stool or a learning tower for your toddler to help you in the kitchen, they have an absolutely gorgeous one. They also offer a weaning table and chair, a floor bed or a wardrobe for your child's bedroom. And if you're looking for a front-facing bookshelf or some open shelving for your child's toys and activities, they've got you covered there too. And if any 
of these pieces sounds like something that you would be interested in purchasing for your home, then I have a discount code for you, HAPAFAM, which will get you 10% off your entire purchase. So I know this was a very extensive gift guide list and I purposely designed it that way because I really wanted to cover all of my bases when it came to all of the possible options of things that you might want to purchase for your child for the holiday season. So to make this a little bit easier for you, I have already organized all of the items that I've mentioned in this video today into my Amazon storefront. So if you go into the description box below this video, you will see a direct link to my Amazon storefront. And if you click through to there, you'll see all of the different categories for gift guides for babies zero to six months, six to 12 months, for one-year-olds and also for two-year-olds. And again, everything is already curated into those lists for you. If you want to just simply browse around by other categories and look just at practical life materials or just at arts and craft supplies, I also have categories set up for those as well. So hopefully I've made it pretty easy for you to find whatever it is that you might be looking for. If you guys have any questions about any of the toys or activities that I shared in this video today, then please be sure to leave me a comment down below. And if you liked this video, then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Just in case you are new to my channel, I did wanna let you know that this video is part of a larger series called Montessori at Home, aimed at providing practical tips and advice for busy parents like you and I for implementing Montessori philosophies at home with your children. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in learning more about, then you might consider subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss a new video because I do upload a new one just like this one every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I'll see you next time. Bye.